In this video, I'll show you how to create a YouTube banner with Canva. I'll give you some general advice on creating a YouTube banner. So first, what you want to do, you want to go to canva.com. If you haven't created your account yet, go ahead and create it. Everything that I show you in this video will be with the free plan. Now, once you've signed up, you want to do a search on their search bar for YouTube banner. Then scroll down to their suggested templates and click on see all. Now, what you need to do next is go to all filters. And if you've not got the pro version, scroll all the way down and then go ahead and click on free, then apply. And that will show you all of the banner templates that Canva has got. So there are 1,400 currently. Now, let me just explain something about YouTube banners. So when you create your YouTube banner, you're essentially creating it for all devices here. So you can see there is a safe area where all devices can see. And that's going to be this area here shown by Mr. Beast banner. And then the area outside of that where the TV like displays will be able to see. Now you want to focus on this safe area here and put all of your design work in this safe area. And you can just expand the background here so it fits all devices, right? Now on Canva, you see some of these templates, they don't have the sizing, right? So you can't see what is a safe area and what isn't the safe area. Let me show you what I mean here. So this one has a safe area. You can see this is very clear that this section here is a safe area and everything outside of that won't be shown on all devices. So you can go ahead and customize this device. And what we can do is we can just use their shape here as kind of like the safe area and the background. So open up a design that you can use to just get the background from and just go ahead and delete everything else. Without this, you really will be guessing on what the safe area is. So I really do recommend it. And now what we can do is we can copy this shape onto a template that we actually like, right? So let's go ahead and find an actual template. So I like this one here, this test drive one. We're going to go ahead and click on that. But you can see we don't know where the safe area is. So customize this template. And then if you go back to the other template that has the safe area shown, you can copy and you can then paste it on here. Now you know where your safe area is. Now, if you want to go one further, you can go ahead and add rulers and we can get rid of this shape altogether. Now to do that, you want to go to file, go to settings, go to show rulers and guides, and we can go ahead and drag these in so we can see our safe area. Now we can delete our template. So now you can see you've got your safe area, but look like this text here, although it is a great design, it's not even centered in the safe area. You understand what I mean, right? So like Mr. Beast's text is centered. You can go ahead and edit anything in Canva. So I'm going to click on this text. I'm also going to hold shift and I'm going to select every element that I want to move down. And if I click on everything while holding shift, it will select it all. Then I can use my arrow keys to move this down in the middle. So now we can go ahead and edit individual elements so we can change the text. So I'll change it to a knowledge base. And you can see how my text kind of takes up two lines because the text box isn't big enough. So we can drag that across here. And what we can do is we can go ahead and click on the text and obviously drag it around. And I can drag it to the middle and center this. I can also double click on the text and edit the fonts up here. So if I wanted a new font, I could change that. So this one looks good. We can still again center it. And you can also change the font sizing, the color, you can add effects and so on. Same with any of these elements you don't like. If we don't like this, we can just simply click on it and delete and it will delete all of this, right? Maybe we don't want this secondary text either. We can delete that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to center knowledge base and we can increase the font size a little bit. And I'm also going to go ahead and change this background photo. Now to change the background photo, all we need to do is upload our own media. And you can do that by going to uploads and you can go ahead and upload any of your files. I'm not going to do that on video, and but you can see whatever files you upload to Canva, you'll be able to use them. Now, if you want a good website for royalty free photos, files and so on, you can go to pexels.com, just Google it, then select photos. And then if you want like a picture of a sunset, search it. They've got 77,000 that you can use. You can just download them and you can use these royalty free. So we can go ahead and find this file in the downloads and you can just go ahead and drag that on or click upload files and drag it on that way. And then with your photo, you can drag it onto your design and you notice here it snapped into place. And there you go. So you're now starting out to build your banner. If you go to elements, you've got all these different elements that you can use. So let's say I want like a video element. So I can type video and we'll get all these video graphics that we can use. Maybe we want to add this one. So we'll add this element and you can drag this on. Resize it however you want. And obviously you can play around with this and 
create a banner which you like. You can also filter through photos, videos, shapes, and so on. Again, if you delete the search query, you're gonna get all of the stuff you can add. You just go ahead and filter through it and add what you like, what you don't like. Maybe we wanna add a shape here to act as like kind of like a background color. And you get the point, right? You can customize this however you want. You can add whatever you want. Once you've added everything and you like how it looks, click share in the top right hand corner, then click download. Download it as a PNG file. It will download into your downloads folder. Then all you can do is you can go ahead and put this somewhere safe and upload it to your YouTube channel. And you know that it's going to fit the right dimensions and you know that your text will be centered. So that's been a quick video. I hope those tips were helpful and I hope I shared some insight which other people wouldn't. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.